Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Las Vegas police released body cam video of last week's officer-involved shooting of a 48-year-old man suspected in a series of robberies. Metro police, the police say Matthew Glunt was shot after he allegedly shot at police officers first in a parking lot at the Gold Coast Hotel and Casino. Glenn pointed his firearms toward his firearm towards officers. At the same time, an officer deployed his taser, but it was ineffective. At that time, Glenn discharged his firearm towards officers. This action prompted Detective Christopher Gowans and Officer Joshua Leach to discharge their firearms. Glunt was taken to the hospital and pronounced in stable condition. And a teen boy is being accused of raping an impaired girl in her car while others filmed the incident. That's according to police. They say 17-year-old Aiden Chiquetti met the girl on a party bus in March. The arrest report mentions three videos of the alleged rape recorded by people heard laughing in the background and the girl looking barely conscious and could be heard saying, stop. Chiquetti faces three counts of sexual assault and is due in court June 21st. And it took nearly 25 years to protect the 500,000 acres of land in southern Nevada, known as Aviquame, with the National Monument designation. Local conservationists hope the next 33,000-acre National Monument project in East Las Vegas will take only five. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer explains. Yes, at the edge of town on East Lake Mead Boulevard lies a swath of significant cultural, geological and ecological features and a coalition of groups is aiming to protect those resources. Activists are in the early stages of their campaign for a 32,618 acre national monument. The proposed national monument also includes the Great Unconformity, a geological rarity that represents about 1.2 billion years of Earth's missing history within its boundaries. This is just the best place to see it right here at this exposure and then it's exposed in the Grand Canyon, Colorado River raft trips. We, mm -hmm. you know, you can, the raft goes along, you can see it for miles and miles and miles along the along the river. The coalition is beginning its public awareness campaign with its unofficial name, East Las Vegas National Monument. Efforts have long been underway to clean up the area. In 2021, two resolutions passed out of Clark County and the state legislature asking for better management of the area. Shifting from Nevada's culture to religion, you're about to hear from Bishop George Leo Thomas being promoted from Bishop to Archbishop of Las Vegas. I feel very grateful to the Holy See and to, certainly to Pope Francis, uh, who I love very deeply. But I said the honor and the glory belongs to the priests and to the lay faithful. Pope Francis made the announcement virtually this morning. He also promoted the city of Las Vegas from a diocese to an archdiocese, which reportedly covers nearly 40,000 square miles and includes 750,000 Catholics. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Hope you all had a great holiday weekend. We're looking at a warm night in the 80s, set to cool to the 70s before midnight, then 60s overnight, with the skies remaining clear. On to your hot seven-day forecast. But first on Wednesday, a high of only 89 and low of 67 degrees, with a small chance of drizzle and clouds. Not hitting the 90s for the first time in a while. However, we're back to highs in the 90s with sunny skies for the rest of the week. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Now that the Vegas Golden Knights are in the Stanley Cup Final, it's not just tickets in high demand, but the merch. Here are some pictures on social media of VGK's Western Conference Championship gear on sale now at the Arsenal Store, located inside the City National Arena. Game one against the Florida Panthers takes place Saturday at T-Mobile Arena. This will be the Golden Knights' second cup final appearance in six years. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Las Vegas Aces received their 2022 WNBA championship rings in a ceremony at Michelob Ultra Arena on Saturday night. Asia Wilson spoke about what the moment meant to her and the team. I feel like we're just forming a dynasty here. Uh, we want to go down in, one of the, in the books as one of the best teams the W has ever seen. And when I look up there and I see that I, 
me and my teammates were able to hang that banner, uh, especially with Becky's first year of coaching. It, it was truly, it was crazy. I got all the fields all over again. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Local health officials are calling attention to an animal tranquilizer being increasingly linked to human overdose deaths called xylazine. In March, the Fed's report shows a sharp rise of fentanyl mixed with xylazine. The Southern Nevada Health District says it's expanding search efforts to detect new substances faster. Xylazine can lead to amnesia, slowed heartbeat, and even death. Drug mixtures with xylazine can also cause rotten tissue and potentially lead to amputation. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. UNLV's football regular season win total over under is six at Caesar Sportsbook. The Rebels went over their win total of four and a half last season when they finished five and seven. UNLV is the 16 to one seventh choice to win the Mountain West Championship game. Boise State is the plus 190 favorite, followed by Air Force and Fresno State at four to one and San Diego State at six to one. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing, while his late night talk show remains on hold. Jimmy Kimmel hosts his ALS fundraising event in Vegas called It's No Joke. He sat down with entertainment columnist John Katsimidis. To honoring my godson, Joey Perello, who has ALS. Project ALS is a great organization, and um, for those who are unfortunately in a position to need their help, um, I think it's a great place to, to spend your money and also um, to hopefully cure this terrible disease, because it is a terrible disease. To read more on this and the ongoing writer strike, go to our website. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.